Hi Brawlers and welcome to my review of episode 31 of Armored Alliance, I'm Haru Ren. So spoiler warning, if you haven't seen this episode yet, go back and watch it now. But if you have, sit back, relax, and enjoy my review of Armored Alliance episode 31. The first part is the Bakugan Battle League Dash, and as you remember last time, we had that adventure with Dan, Magnus, Ajit, and Storm, and now we're going back to following Shun, Wind, and Lightning, and Leah as they continue the Battle League. You want more proof? This was how Curing got eliminated. Lame. The Awesome Brothers fight the Rowdy Reds, and to be honest, the development from the Rowdy Reds are pretty cool. Remember they cheated in the last league and they got better by researching and studying so that they can be ready to fight the Awesome Brawlers? Even the Awesome Brawlers don't want to fight them since there's a tight amount of time left to reach the finish line. It's not that they don't think they can win, it's that it would take too long. So they defeat the Rowdy Reds anyway, and... Uh-oh! There are only three minutes left in the stage! Yikes! Okay, Winton, that was funny. Can you imagine that as a ringtone? Yikes! The Awesome Brawlers plow past the last-minute mechanoids and reach the finish line by one second along with Chad, Chester, and... Marco? What? Oh man, if Havoc had Twitter, he would have been cancelled by now. The final stage is beginning, and... What is that thing?! That is just the Blue Arena. The final stage is a free-for-all last man standing match, but Havoc includes ninjas into the match. Whoa! That doesn't look like the ice cream man. Huh? They're definitely not the ice cream man. Alright, Winton is just trying so hard to become Chandler level sarcastic here. But oh wait, more fusion Bakugan and only one of them has a release toy. No, I'm not counting Cloptor X Alpalion because the starter deck it comes in still can't be found much. Gargano X11 looks cool though. The next part, the final stage, it's the Battle of the Fusions. It's practically a fusion war. Leah actually still has Gilator? I guess she didn't have to actually give it back to Dan then, huh? You know what's the one rule to making an all out protagonist versus antagonist fight, but non essential characters are also a part of it accidentally? Just go after the non important ones first to write them off. Oh, better hurry, brawlers. If you don't roll out another Bakugan within the time limit, you're out. What? Yes. <laughs> Marco, Chad, and Chester, your time is up, so you are all out! Wow, 30 seconds went by fast there. The ninjas are revealed to be McHugh, Sophie, and Everett, and don't worry, Storm is involved too, he's just fighting Magnus right now. And this battle is actually pretty cool, that I was actually worried a few times that the Awesome Brothers were going to lose here. But it's Bakugan, and it's a kid's targeted show, of course that wouldn't happen. How cool would it have actually been if they actually end up beating the Awesome Brothers and became champions? Not only would they get their revenge and establish them as credible threats, but it would add salt to the wound to Havoc's overall plan. Havoc's plan was never to actually sabotage the Battle League, but to use it as a conductor from Brawler Energy to power his machine so that he can control the Bakugan of the captured Brawlers to destroy Tokyo. This isn't entertainment, it's mayhem! Stop it! At once! <laughs> yeah, as if Havoc having crazy destructive tendencies like Kefka, playing dangerous games like Jigsaw, and having shape-shifting powers like the Kree wasn't enough, now we can add using the Force like Darth Sidious into the list. And then we get a cool transition away to end the episode. Fourth wall breaking everyone, it's funny. So that was episode 31 of Armored Alliance, let me know what your rating of the show was in the comments down below. This episode was pretty decent, I guess. It really just continued the arc, but to be honest, I've sort of lost interest in the Battle League after the previous episode. Maybe it's just me, but it seems like this Battle League dragged on a little bit too much, but that's probably because of the focus being shifted away a little to give us some exposition. I know I'm probably pulling out hairs here, and overall, this was pretty good with such great action and Havoc finally acting on his plan, but I think you're seeing a pattern of me saying this episode was good because the last episode was good. We know the background and the stakes going into this episode, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. And while it seems like Havoc's plan would make the Battle League insignificant, he managed to save himself by making the League a key part in making his plan work. So, count our blessings that this whole thing wasn't a whole waste of time to watch, but like I said earlier, making Sophie, McHugh, and Everett win would have been awesome and add more to the story, so it would actually make us doubt that this is a fight the Awesome Brothers probably can't win. So, I'm gonna give this episode a high Baku gear in the middle. Yikes! Thank you for watching this review of Armored Alliance. Be sure to press the like button and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Haru Ren, and thank God for Rapid Fire. Bye!